Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be continuing my coding tutorial series with today being the output and display commands. And as you have probably already noticed, I changed the, the theme for the background of my text. I think it's easier to read, it, it just stands out a little bit more and you can kind of tell what's happening overall. Or it definitely helps me at least. Uh, you can comment, comment down below if you like this one or the other one better and I can switch it back if you guys want me to. But let's get into it, output and display commands. Starting out with the display command, it can be used to display a variable value, string, or specific text. And the syntax is just display and then what you're displaying. So display A would display the whatever uh, numbers stored in A, display. And then if you want to display specific text, you just put quotes on both sides and then the text in the middle, that would display the word text. And you can also display strings. So display string zero would display the text stored in string zero. The display command will display line by line, top to bottom, and scroll up when it runs out of room. This is important when differentiating it from the output command. And um, there can only be seven displays on a monochrome calculator and nine on a color calculator. And when I say only, I mean only at one time. Uh, because you can never display anything on the bottom line because it will scroll up. So when you reach seven displays on a monochrome calculator, the calculator has eight possible lines. And once you get to where it would display on the bottom line, it just scrolls up to where it, everything shifts up one line and the bottom line stays blank. Same for a color calculator. There's just nine instead of seven, ten overall and compared to eight. And whenever the display command is used, it will display as far to the right on the display of the calculator as possible. It will also display as far upward as possible. This is just going along with the line by line thing. If there's something already on the top line, it'll display on the second line. But this as far to the right thing, it's saying if you display 25, it'll display 25 all the way to the right and not on the left as you would read it in a book or something like that. If you want to use many values together or commands while uh, taking up less space a comma can be used to separate them so instead of writing display a uh, enter display b enter display c you can just write display a comma b comma c and that will give you the exact same thing no difference whatsoever display a on the first line b on the second line c on the third line like i said all the way to the right and then same thing with your text Hello world, it would display hello on the first line, world on the second line. Moving on to the output command, in my opinion, way more versatile and you will uh, be using it a lot more than the display command if you want it to look prettier or just nicer in general. The output command displays the exact same things, variable values, strings, specific text. The syntax is slightly more complicated, but easy to get used to as I wrote here. It's just output y coordinate not sure why there's a one there and then comma x coordinate comma value and for example one comma one comma a would display a on the first y value first x value so, uh, output six comma five comma uh, quotes text you still need your quotes would output on the sixth y value the fifth x value it would uh, display text output three comma seven comma string zero same thing third y value, seventh x value, it would display the text in string zero. The out command, output command is kind of weird as it overlaps anything else displayed on the screen and it's kind of semi-independently functioning. And this doesn't really matter unless you're mixing it with other commands like the display command that also edit the screen. It doesn't really matter that much. But what this means is that if you displayed something without command output command then use the display command it would get messed up the text gets messed up weirdly because of how it functions and it's not really workaroundable you can't go around it you have to kind of face it the x and y coordinates uh range from 8 to 16 on the well 8 on the x or y axis and 16 on the x axis for monochrome calculators or 10 to 26 on color calculators. And as I say here, I believe, while the output command has a syntax of y value comma x value, an important part is that the coordinates work as though they are in the fourth quadrant of the graph, but no negative values. And so right here, as I said, one comma one 
would be the upper left corner of the screen because like it's the fourth quadrant one would be the top left and one one would be the top left in the fourth quadrant if there were no negatives it it would be the same as saying uh one negative one in the coordinates but it's one one for the output command sorry if that's a little bit confusing but one one is the upper left corner and two one would be directly below it so it goes downward on the y value and then to the right for the x value and then uh I don't know, this is pretty much the same thing as I was saying up here. It overlaps different things, and then this, when mixing with the display command, like I said, it will mess it up. Um, if the output command runs out of room on a line, for example, output 1, 16, comma text, like I said, on a monochrome calculator, there are 16 on the x, val x axis. It's up here. here wait. 16 on the x axis. If you displayed one comma sixteen comma text, obviously that would be displayed all the way to the right. What happens is it outputs like this: T on the far right, and then it'll display X on the second line. So, in other words, the text will go on to the next line, and you need to watch out for that if you're displaying values bigger than what you prepare for. If this happens on the bottom line of a calculator, for example, eight on a monochrome, ten on a color calculator it will just be left off the screen and no error message will be displayed. And unlike the display command, you cannot link values together. You can't do A comma B at the end. It'll give you an error. You have to do two separate commands like this. And that would give you what you would be able to do with the display command, but you have to write it two separate commands. That's one downside to the output command. And then functionality, functionality comparisons between the display and the output commands. When it comes to speed, this is really important. The output command is the fastest possible way to display anything on the calculator, including the text command, which I did not go over, and the display and the output. Output is the fastest way. If you're unsure which command to use, go with the output command. It's more versatile, faster. It's just an overall better command. But one of the few situations where you would want to use the display command, not display, display commands, instead of the output command is when displaying large amounts of variables. Like I said earlier, display A comma B comma C. It saves a lot of room and it's a lot less sloppy than having to write out a bunch of output commands like this. Anyway, guys, that's going to end it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.